Okay, so we're going to go a little bit more over uh, this GUI development stuff quick. So, last time I accidentally double-clicked this guy and I added this label one click method, and I really don't want to do anything with this, and it's a shame to have this method sitting around. Now, it'd be nice if I could just delete this and be on my way, but unfortunately, this is referenced in other places of the code. Particularly, it's referenced here, so we could just, you know, remove this guy and call it a day. But I want to, you know, don't don't be afraid of this designer file. There really isn't much in here. In fact, if you use these little minus buttons, you can really shrink down all the stuff you have to look at. See, initialize component is the important part. Disposes, it's not a destructor, that's actually a finalizer, that's a destructor in C-sharp, but it's kind of like a destructor. It's like, call, it's, it's a closing... It's, it's a close method. It cleans up after itself. We'll get to that in a bit as well. Okay, so initialize component. Just remember, this is where all this is where all the stuff is being slapped down. So if you ever have to manually change stuff in code, you know, look in here. Don't be afraid of it. It can get quite long as you add controls. Just dig into that file. Okay, so what we can do over here Let's look back at the properties window. So I have the label selected right now. And again, I could, I could organize these A to Z as well using this button over here, but I think categorize is helpful. Now right now we're looking at the properties. Now, this form is a class, but it doesn't really have, you know, it does have public methods, but that's not really pertinent for us to see. The other thing that's important for this is events. So Events are basically, they're, they're a first-class feature in C-sharp. They're basically just an implementation of the observer pattern. And it's really just a way to decouple, you know, when, what... It, it helps... In our purposes, it's really going to help us decouple UI stuff and business logic stuff. So, really, don't worry too much about that. Basically, whenever you raise an event, it'll call a method. In fact, I think it does it synchronously, so it's not even like it's multi-threaded magic or anything like that, I don't think. So look, over here I added an action. Oops, I didn't mean to add an action. So I removed I removed the click event, and see, that removed it from the designer, and that removed it from our form. Now notice, that means that you can bind methods to all of these events. So if we want if we want the label to change when our mouse enters it, or when our mouse is hovering over it, we can do that. We have all the power in the world. So keep that in mind. This will be a powerful tool for you going forward. We're going to keep this video really, really short because uh, there's not super much more to forms. But if I wanted to add another form, I could do that. A new item a new Windows form. And let's say I wanted to add a button here that makes the other form. So let's go to the toolbox. Let's go to the button. Let's give it an event by double clicking it. An event handler. And we will create a new form like that. Now, notice, this is a really dirty way to do this. Really, you don't want to be... You want, you want to avoid doing this. This is kind of disgusting. But just to show you, forms are regular old classes. There's not anything special about them. You can do with them what you will. So, button 2 is going to open a new form. Here's our form 2. Look at that. We can make another one, too, if we want. Take time. So you can you can do a lot of you know interesting stuff quite easily using the designer here. And we'll keep this short. We'll end it there.